when, you know, what I've learned in Cuba from 15 years of studying seduction through the body by learning how to embody it and how to feel it and how to express it is that when you're seducing someone, you're actually leaving them full and better off than before. You're not taking something, you're giving something, which is something entirely different. And not only that, but at the core of it is such high self-worth and pride of who you are. Here's to give you a little example, right? Like if I want to attract somebody to me, then there might be a guy here and I'd be looking at, and this look of seduction, the reason that it's so seductive is because I'm thinking inside, te gusta, do you like it? Now, when I think te gusta, do you like it? It's not, do you like it like meat? Like, do you like what you see? Do you want to have it? Do you want, it's nothing like that. Do you like what you see? Because here I am, all this gorgeousness and all of this that I believe that I am so worthy. Do you like it? And that self-worth is what makes it so attractive and so beautiful because it's so elegant rather than being vulgar. And then seduction turns into something completely different. So you actually just said self-worth. I'm sure everyone right now just literally stopped. Like, hang on a minute. How do you put seduction and self-worth together? Mm -hmm. The other words that you use are charm, connection, vulnerability, pride, confidence, appeal. So knowing all of these words, if someone listening right now wants to build their self-worth, wants to become confident, wants to be open, but also have the appeal, because let's not pretend that isn't actually something that makes you feel good. How, what are the steps someone can take right now in order to do that, which whether you say it's seduction or confidence? So let's start with the fact that everything that you just said about those words is about being a whole person, like really being whole. And anything that's not sitting right would not allow you to seduce. So what do I mean by that? Um, for example, one of the things that I discovered when I studied so much about seduction is that at the core of the people that were the most seductive, they had rejection resilience. Rejection resilience is the ability to go like, you're kind of coming towards someone and you're doing something seductive and someone says no and you come again and you come again and you come again and you do it in a way that just kind of softens the heart and eventually that turns into a maybe and that turns into a yes.